Okay, here we are with uh, Zelda Part 9. And uh, here we are in the Forest of Shadows. Just gonna head out and down into the Village of Outcasts. We got the Village of Outcasts. There's actually this treasure chest game where you can get a piece of heart. The thing is, it's random, so we're just gonna try our best. Each time you play this, the heart is randomly placed. Oh, wow! <laughs> Alright! I get to open another one, too. Oh, nice! I <laughs> was like... I didn't expect that! Holy shit, okay. <laughs> oh, man, I expected that to be a problem, actually. <laughs> oh, that was pretty sweet. Okay, I'm just gonna head out this way. Wow. That was cool. Okay, now we're gonna come over here. This is where the church would have been. Okay, here is an interesting area. Come over here. We're gonna climb up here. And then we're gonna use the mirror. That was cool. And if you come in here... Okay. any of that. Come on, blow! Blammo! Okay. And there's another piece of heart, which gives me an ass container. Okay, something else you can do real quick here. Do you need to go back into the dark world? Okay. Okay, come over here and use the mirror again. And we're in this area that we could, oh, all right, I'll have to step to the right a little bit. Okay. You wind up in this area that you normally couldn't get to without having the uh, Titan's Mitt. So that's uh, pretty cool. Dash into the grave and then go down. Okay. All right, and you get the magic cape. Magic cape, the uses of the magic cape is pretty uh, limited. I mean, it's a pretty good item, but it's usually, it's used specifically to get a specific heart piece, which I'm gonna go and try and nab right now. Yeah. <laughs> I love the way the bomb just goes, like, all over the place. Ooh. There's that arrow there, it actually means absolutely nothing. I, I don't know why there's an arrow there. Come this way. See that piece of heart up there? You need the cape to get at it, so I'm just gonna get my cape ready. Cape is a magic item, so we'll have to, uh, keep that in mind. Okay. Ooh! <laughs> my bad. Alright, up we go. Oh, wait, I think I need the hook shot. Ah, uh, yeah, I need the hook shot to do this shit. Alright, I'll come back later. I should just drop that. And I was like, I knew I needed the cape, but I forgot that I also needed the hook shot. So after I do level two, I'll come back. So I'll not worry about that. All right, so let me just uh, double check here that I got nothing else to do before level two. Well, there's one more in the uh, Village of Outcasts that I can get by playing a mini game. That one's annoying. But you know what, I'll do that at another time when I'm actually going towards the Village of Outcasts. Okay, now, um, level two is interesting because the hardest part is actually entering it. And, uh, the hard part about entering it is actually that you get in there and then you find that, you don't, you know, you can't really do anything. Because it's, the areas in it are flooded, and you need it to be unflooded. So, what we're gonna do is we're going to go and, um, head there and warp into the light world. And then we can do something in the light world, and that'll also give us a piece of heart that is gonna affect it in the dark world. Okay, everybody. Oh, I hate that. Right, I 
gain back what I lost. Let me get that ready. And over here we go. Okay, so this is level two right here. Use the mirror somewhere around here. Okay. And then head into the light world equivalent. Now, first things first, we're gonna push him this way so we can get, oh, it's just bombs, I shouldn't even bother. But to show you that, yeah, if you do that, you can't get past it, you have to come out and come back in. I knew it was bombs, I should never have bothered with that. Okay, in and push it. Push it good. I believe it's this one. One of them makes bombs fall from the sky, and the other opens the floodgate. 